Hello YouTube. This is a video tutorial of using Mathemaca to plot your Fourier series expansion. So before we get started, let's review the basic components uh, inside a Fourier series expansion. So you have your signal x of t, which can be represented as the sum of the Fourier series expansion coefficient. Let me get the sum function here. Okay, so let so we have a in some index going from minus infinity to infinity. So minus infinity to infinity, and you have your x of n times. This is the four expansion coefficient, of course, and this multiply with the x exponential and you have the imaginary part times 2 pi times your index i divided by t naught which is the period times t so basically this is uh, what you need before you get started on plotting so I assume that you already have your x and n calculated so let's first uh, Let's get started. Uh, x of t, you need, uh, before we get started, you must know how to declare a function in Mathematica. And to declare a function, you use the colon, equal sign, and then you declare your function to the right of that. So you use your sum, this sum from, from minus n. To n, and that's your index i i from minus n to n, and you can change that as your variable when you plot it. So in this case, I have my x of n is equal to one half sinc pi by two times the index, and then my exponential will be just imaginary part times 2 pi times the sum index divided by the period times t. And I'll register this by uh, execute the cell using shift enter and thus being saved into the memory. So next we need to plot this. So let's type our plot function so we have our declare function earlier, x of t as a function of n is our variable and our limit uh, go t from minus 4 to 4 and this is uh, set in stone if you will because we're not trying to change t but we're trying to change n so we use a trick that Mathematica has called manipulate and this function allows you to basically change the the sum and index n and I'll set my minimum from 1 to 50 and you want to set the increment instead of a 1 and shift enter to execute now as you change you, know, you play with the uh, slider here you increase n x t start looking more like our original x of t Now let's label our axes, and this must be done inside the plot function, not with the manipulate. So axes, um, this thing, and do the brackets. Your x and your y labels, x and then x of t for the y axis. Well, what did I do wrong here? What did I do wrong? Huh. All right. Something is. 
okay now <laughs> I just copy my solution and then just paste it save time but I think it's just a bracket or something but this is just a label issue so uh, I guess that concludes this video tutorial thanks for watching see you next time